Now then everybody, it's Dan from Homesy.com. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing a Jack Packed. Um, I've already opened it to be honest, and well, if I'm going to be honest, I've already had some of the stuff that's inside it, but I'm going to show you what is in there now. And I quickly want to say that if you're in the UK watching this, they are now shipping back to the UK. So if you head over to the website, jackpack.com, you'll be able to see what type of packages they've got and, and what you fancy like. And if I remember, if you use my code home physique, that's all it is. I think you get five dollars off or ten dollars off. I cannot remember, but just put it in and see what happens. Anyway, let's get into it. Then. So the first thing is this uh, badass surge. It's a protein powder. I've already tried this, and I can say that it tastes like ass. It was not very nice at all. So there you go. Second up is a packet of this. Uh, I can never say it. Mice micellar, micellar case. Well, basically casein protein. Uh, that's by MRI. This wasn't that bad flavor wise, but to be honest, it was very, very chalky, very powdery. It was like, if you've ever had leucine powder, that's what it mixes like. So, a bit powdery. Get a packet of this Inner Armour Mass Plex. So, it's a, a weight gainer sort of thing, mass, mass shake, you know. Um, this packet has 387 calories in it. Whoa. So, yeah, I might uh, save that for when I'm feeling starving. Like. Got a quest bar here, double chocolate chunk. I've, um, well, as soon as I opened the box and I saw it, I ended up eating it simply because I love them that much. But yeah, these are really nice. So you should have tried them by now if you haven't. What are you messing about at? You get the uh, cards as usual, so basically just tells you everything that's in there. Tester fuel. <laughs> I've actually had a box of this sent to me and tried it out. It has some uh, good ingredients in it, but it's not very cost effective for. Uh, for what you need and to be honest it's a natural test booster so come on pro subs quickly becoming one of the uh the leading uh, supplement companies out there they, they do put out some really good quality uh supplements if you ask me and alongside it you get a packet of mr hyde now this is quite handy really because i um i gave away two packets of of some uh hyde and jekyll to uh to a guy on twitter and um because I said, oh, I've got two tubs in my cupboard, it'll be all right. So I sent them to them, opened my tubs up, and they've all gone to shit. They're just like a big rock hard clump. And I tried to dry it out, but it just wasn't happening. So this is the only hide I've got now. <sighs> but that is still my number one favourite pre workout because it blows your head off. Two packets of ANS um, Dilate. I've had this before. And if you remember the review I did for it, I thought quite highly of it pump wise. It's a good product. Three packets of Finaflex PX. Thermogenic, so it's just basically a fat burner sort of thing. And as per the title of this video, there are two trial tubs of um, Honey Badger, which is um, a pre workout product. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing it right now because I'm about to do some training, so I'll quickly start talking about it. Which flavor should I go for? Wild berry or lemon and lime? I'll go for the lemon and lime. Basically, Honey Badger is. A pre-workout product if you have a look on the ingredients it has got a uh, a prop blend but it isn't a prop blend because everything's broken down when you start reading into it so i can tell you exactly what's in it uh arginine alpha keto glutarate 1500 milligrams beta alanine 1500 milligrams l-citrulline mallet 1000 milligrams tyrosine 350 milligrams L-carnitine, L-carnitine, 250 milligrams, and caffeine as 150 milligrams. So it's not overly stimulant. You know, it's not too heavy on the stems. It's got the, uh, it's got all the ingredients in there that you want to see, sort of thing. So, what do you reckon? Should I go for one scoop or two scoop? One scoop, two. Let's go for two scoops. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna have to figure out how you open this wrapper as well. Okay, so I finally managed to uh, get my way in there. One scoop. She will go for two, or she will just do one. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, two scoop. I'm gonna have, be having a big session. I've, I've hardly trained all week, so I'm gonna have to give it my all today. Only have to admit, things are feeling a lot better. Back's playing. Oh, fucking water everywhere. My back's doing all right, so let's go. Yeah. God damn, that's sour. 
That is really sour. Yeah. So if you uh, if you like sour lemon and lime stuff, you probably like that. It's a bit sour for me if I if I'm if I'm honest. Oh. So we're gonna base it on what it claims to do on the on the packet, which is energy focus. Don't say anything about promoting a pump, so that's all we're gonna be looking at. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I finished the session. Quite a lot of work done, which is a good thing. Um, quickly get into scores then. Start with energy. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. No problems there. Got plenty of work done, and to be honest, I didn't like uh, feel like I was flagging or anything like that. So very good. All reps hit, all sets done. Can't fault that. Um, focus. I'm afraid I didn't really feel any enhancement of mood or or get in the zone, so to speak. None of that happened with this product, so it's just going to get a one for me. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, didn't really feel like, to be honest, I mean, if you look at the ingredients, other than the uh, tyrosine and the caffeine, maybe even the carnitine, there's nothing to really uh, alter your mindset, so to speak. It's only the, uh, the really heavy nootropic. Um, pre-workouts that really do anything like that for me well for me anyway put it that way uh, so yeah not too uh, not too impressed on that from although I will say <coughs> it's an all in it's a pretty good all in one simply because you can see everything that's there uh, it tells you breaks down all the ingredients in there it's got decent doses of everything obviously the B-tranolamine at one scoop is uh, 1500 milligrams I usually go for about 3 grams myself so that's why I took the two scoops and to be honest, beta alanine really only helps you out if you're going to be doing a lot of reps. Because uh, you, you don't really get that burn when you're doing uh, short reps, you know what I mean? So there's no real need for it. Um, Pump-wise, to be honest, it was it's all right. Even though that's not what it's said to promote, it felt all right. But it didn't really excel or anything like that. So I guess a 1 out of 5 gives this an overall score of 2.5 out of 5. So... That's what I think to it. Taste wise, the lemon and lime one's a bit meh. Oh yeah, and don't forget that this was at two scoops as well, so not really anything impressive to be honest. It looks good, packaging's great. It's got a real nice clean uh, image going on, but for me really, nothing special. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been the review for Honey Badger, and um, I gave it like a two and a half out of five for two scoops. So there you go. Please like, share it, friend, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers now.